Welcome to Western Georgia. Batumi International Airport is located two kilometers south of Batumi, a city on the Black Sea coast and capital of Adjara, an autonomous republic in southwest Georgia. The city of Batumi has seen significant growth in the last few years. The Georgian Air Force uses it as a staging base for NATO forces, so your basic flight training will be conducted here. Study the airspace coordination order and maps of the area so you can become familiar with the terrain and major landmarks. We will be using the SIF Target Training Range, STTR, and working within a defined military operations area. The STTR is named after Captain Steve Phyllis, callsign SIF, who was killed during the 1991 Gulf War. The MOA is defined by Poti and the Rioni River in the north, Batumi in the south, Kerbamaro in the east, and 10 nautical miles offshore in the west. The SIF target training range is defined by the Rioni River in the north, Lanshuti in the south, Sanzavaho in the east, and Poti in the west. The Rioni River is a distinguishing landmark and will be a useful visual reference. There are two alternate airfields within the military operations area. Kabuleli Military Air Base is used for weapons training missions on the SIF target training range. There is also an abandoned airfield two kilometers north of Kabuleli. The runways form an X shape, so it's easy to identify. Let's review the missions that define this qualification phase. First mission, test your ability to start, taxi, and shut down the bird. Make sure you study up on your checklist and ground handling procedures. You are not getting this bird in the air until you can be trusted to use it properly on the ground. The second mission, test your ability to take off and successfully land the aircraft with a simulated engine emergency. We want to see that you can get the bird in the air and land it successfully with only one engine. Study up on your takeoff and emergency landing techniques for this one. The third mission tests your ability to fly a proper traffic pattern. At busy airports, you may find yourself stuck in the pattern for some time. Study the pattern diagram closely so you can be successful with this PO. The fourth mission tests your ability to perform a formal approach and landing. Unlike your earlier landing attempts, this one you will be rated on your glide slope, airspeed, and landing techniques. I recommend you study up on the proper landing procedure for this PO. The fifth mission tests your ability to fly basic maneuvers. You will do airspeed and elevation tests, high speed and low speed turn tests, including a climbing turn test. You will also test the autopilot. Study the flight manual so you will understand how to work the aircraft to meet the basic maneuver objectives. The sixth mission tests your ability to fly advanced maneuvers. You will do stall and spin recovery tests, 
perform a defensive spiral dive and a lazy eight maneuver. Study the maneuvers closely, but don't worry if you don't get them perfect the first time. The seventh mission tests your ability to fly a number of aerobatic maneuvers. You will do an Immelman, split S, loop, barrel roll, clover leaf, and then put them into an aerobatic sequence of your choosing. Study the maneuvers closely as every good combat pilot should know them by heart. The eighth mission tests your ability to handle emergencies. We will review a common set of emergencies that every pilot should be able to handle. Study your emergency checklist procedures and you should have no problem bringing the bird back safely. The ninth mission tests your approach and landing at night using instruments. Landing at night can be very challenging, especially if the weather is not cooperative. Study your instruments closely and pay attention to your altitude, airspeed, and attitude. The tenth mission tests your ability to navigate at night. Without external visual references, you will have to rely on your instruments and map reading skills for this PO. Keep your kneeboard handy and record any coordinates given immediately. You won't be able to ask for help on this mission. The 11th mission tests your ability to fly as a wingman. It takes time and effort to become a good wingman. Formation flying is one part of it. Stay close to your leader and follow his every move. If you get too close or too far away, that will score against you. The twelfth mission is the final mission of your basic flight training. You will perform a low-level flight through the SIF target training range, arriving at Cobuleti for debriefing and final scoring. Good luck. I've given you the agenda, now you need to execute it. Collect your gear and follow me to Base Ops to review your first mission. Let's get started. <laughs>